Welcome to Scoop Canada, your reliable source for breaking news and insightful analysis. Today, we uncover another costly decision by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government, highlighting a troubling pattern of fiscal irresponsibility and misplaced priorities. Prime Minister Trudeau has once again drawn criticism for spending $125 million of taxpayers' money to settle an Indigenous land claim, framing it as reconciliation in action. This substantial expenditure comes amidst ongoing economic challenges and pressing needs across the country, raising questions about the government's stewardship of public funds. Critics argue that Trudeau's administration has a history of mismanagement and overspending, often at the expense of Canadian taxpayers. This latest allocation of funds has reignited debates about fiscal prudence and effective governance, especially as many Canadians continue to face hardships such as rising living costs, housing shortages, and economic uncertainty. The decision to settle Indigenous land claims is crucial for reconciliation efforts in Canada, but the manner in which these settlements are financed and managed has sparked controversy. Trudeau's approach, characterized by significant financial commitments without clear accountability or transparency, has been a point of contention for opposition parties and fiscal watchdogs alike. Moreover, Trudeau's government has faced previous criticisms regarding its handling of Indigenous affairs with accusations of inadequate consultation, delayed actions, and insufficient follow-through on promises made to Indigenous communities. The $125 million expenditure, while aimed at addressing historical injustices, is seen by some as a symbolic gesture that falls short of meaningful, sustainable change. As we delve deeper into this issue, stay tuned for comprehensive coverage and expert insights into the implications of Trudeau's spending decisions on Canada's fiscal health and Indigenous relations. The debate over fiscal responsibility and effective governance continues to shape public discourse, and Scoop Canada remains committed to keeping you informed on all developments. As Prime Minister Justin Trudeau justifies spending $125 million of taxpayer money on settling an Indigenous land claim as reconciliation, in-action critics argue that this move reflects a broader pattern of fiscal mismanagement and questionable priorities within the Liberal government. Also, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our Conservative-themed products at affordable prices. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. The decision to allocate such a substantial sum towards settling Indigenous land claims is contentious, especially against the backdrop of Canada's economic challenges and pressing domestic needs. Many Canadians are grappling with issues like inflation, housing affordability, and healthcare access, prompting concerns about whether taxpayer funds are being used judiciously. Criticism of Trudeau's handling of public finances is not new. The Prime Minister has faced scrutiny for a series of expensive policy decisions, often characterized by hefty price tags and a lack of transparency. These expenditures, including the recent $125 million settlement, fuel debates about fiscal prudence and accountability in government spending. Moreover, while reconciliation with Indigenous peoples is a crucial national priority, the manner in which these settlements are funded and managed has sparked controversy. Critics argue that Trudeau's approach often involves large financial commitments without clear benchmarks for success or measurable outcomes, leading to questions about the long-term effectiveness of such investments. Opposition parties and fiscal watchdogs have raised alarms about the sustainability of Trudeau's spending habits, particularly in light of Canada's growing debt burden and ongoing deficits. The $125 million expenditure on Indigenous land claims is seen by some as a symbolic gesture that may not adequately address systemic issues faced by Indigenous communities, such as poverty, education gaps, and healthcare disparities. Furthermore, Trudeau's administration has faced accusations of insufficient consultation and engagement with Indigenous leaders and communities. Critics point out that meaningful reconciliation requires more than financial settlements. It demands comprehensive strategies that address the root causes of historical injustices and ensure lasting improvements in Indigenous well-being. Justin Trudeau's announcement of a $125 million settlement for an Indigenous land claim framed as a milestone in reconciliation has sparked considerable debate and criticism, particularly regarding the expenditure of taxpayer money and the broader implications for fiscal responsibility. Firstly, critics argue that while reconciliation with Indigenous peoples is undoubtedly important, Trudeau's government has a track record of overspending and fiscal mismanagement. The $125 million settlement adds to a series of expensive initiatives that have raised eyebrows among taxpayers and fiscal watchdogs alike. Many question whether such a significant sum could have been better allocated to address pressing domestic issues like healthcare, education, or infrastructure, which affect all Canadians. 
Still a big shareholder in Cycle Capital. And since becoming Environment Minister, Cycle Capital companies have gotten another $17 million from the Green Slush Fund. Liberal insiders getting rich on taxpayer money, a carbon tax cover-up, the Environment Minister profiting from the Green Slush Fund sleaze. When will Liberal corruption end? Never. Never. Moreover, Trudeau's approach to reconciliation through financial settlements has been scrutinized for its effectiveness and transparency. Critics argue that while these settlements are portrayed as steps towards healing historical injustices, they often lack clear accountability measures and fail to address the systemic challenges faced by Indigenous communities, such as poverty, inadequate housing, and lack of access to basic services. This raises concerns about whether the funds are being used to genuinely improve the lives of indigenous peoples or simply to appease political optics. Additionally, Trudeau's rhetoric on reconciliation has been criticized as hypocritical. While he emphasizes the importance of indigenous rights and reconciliation publicly, his government's actions often contradict these sentiments. For instance, Trudeau's administration has faced accusations of insufficient consultation with indigenous leaders and communities on major policy decisions that affect their rights and well-being. This discrepancy between words and actions undermines the credibility of Trudeau's commitments to reconciliation, painting a picture of a government more concerned with optics than substantive change. Furthermore, the timing of such settlements amid economic challenges and budget deficits raises questions about Trudeau's priorities. As Canadians grapple with rising costs of living, inflationary pressures, and economic uncertainty, the decision to allocate $125 million towards settling historical land claims may appear out of touch with the immediate needs of ordinary Canadians. This disconnect between government priorities and public concerns reinforces perceptions of Trudeau's administration as disconnected from the everyday realities faced by Canadians. While reconciliation with Indigenous peoples is a necessary and laudable goal, Trudeau's $125 million settlement has reignited debates about fiscal prudence, transparency, and the true motives behind such expenditures. Critics argue that Trudeau's government must demonstrate greater accountability in its spending decisions and prioritize investments that deliver tangible benefits for all Canadians. As this issue continues to unfold, it underscores the need for a government that balances reconciliation with fiscal responsibility and addresses the broader economic and social challenges facing the nation. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately, and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. The hypocrisy of the Trudeau government regarding the $125 million settlement for the Indigenous land claim is evident on several fronts, exposing discrepancies between rhetoric and action. Firstly, Trudeau has repeatedly emphasized his commitment to reconciliation with indigenous peoples, presenting these settlements as pivotal steps towards healing historical injustices. However, critics argue that behind the lofty rhetoric lies a pattern of inconsistency and tokenism. While the government allocates substantial sums for settlements, there remains a lack of substantial progress on broader issues affecting indigenous communities, such as poverty, healthcare disparities, and inadequate housing, this selective approach to reconciliation suggests that financial settlements alone cannot address the deep-rooted systemic challenges facing indigenous peoples. Secondly, the Trudeau government's handling of consultations with indigenous communities has been contentious. Despite promising a nation-to-nation -nation relationship and meaningful consultation, many indigenous leaders have criticized the government for insufficiently involving them in decision-making processes that directly impact their lands and rights. The rush nature of some settlements, including this $125 million agreement, raises questions about whether these agreements truly reflect the interests and priorities of affected indigenous communities or are merely expedient solutions to political pressures. Stay informed with Scoop Canada as we delve deeper into the implications of this and other significant issues affecting our nation. Subscribe to our channel for the latest updates, in-depth analyses, and expert commentary on the policies shaping Canada's future. 